Hello everyone, this is Era. Thank you so much for joining me on this November day after a semi-long, semi-short YouTube break. I am back and ready to catch stuff. Before we get started, I just wanted to apologize in advance for anyone that hasn't seen my video before. There are chicken and rooster noises in the background. They ha they roam the islands. It's just the sound that they make. It's not really something I can avoid. So yeah. So before we start with the cash stuffing, something that I do want to start with or share with you guys which i think i've shared before is actually my money mantra so this is to say that i control money money does not control me and money is just a tool to help get me to the places and achieve the goals that i want money is not the goal itself and the reason why I like to remember, so this is this mantra is not something I'm just making up for this video. This is something that I've had a ritual in remembering when I do my budgeting, even when I'm not recording, because it's really important for me to remember why I do this, right? Money is incredibly powerful in our lives and it can augment insecurities without us even realizing it and if that's not something that you've ever experienced that's awesome i feel like i have had some financial insecurities that have that have come up throughout my life and sometimes when i'm in these places of budgeting or what i'm going to do with my money where i'm going to move it where it's going to go to it a lot of emotions can come up and you know the emotional part the of budgeting of being mindful of your money can be intense if we don't prepare for it and i if that helps with anybody else i just wanted to share it so now we can officially get started the first thing that i'm going to do is well after the mantra the first thing i'm going to do is empty my wallet so these are my dividers for my wallet and I'm gonna take out the coins. So I wish that there were, there was a little bit more, like I'm thinking of this as my return video. And I wish I had more coins or, you know, more money left over from my last paycheck. Um, but this is my reality. This is what I have left over, which is nothing. Actually, these this last, these last two weeks have been, I have nothing left over. The only thing I have left over is this $50 bill, um, which I was planning on spending for a party that was a baby shower. I was planning on using this money for some grocery shopping needed for the baby shower. They, my cousin refuses to take the money from me. So now I have this. It's not like I spent less. I just, someone gift just granted me she just didn't accept the money that I had budgeted out for it. So, other than that, I really don't have anything left over. These dividers are completely see-through with none of them hiding any cash behind them. And that's okay. Um, I'm very grateful for everything. And these are some coins. So, my coins, I separate the quarters. Um, put those in the quarter bag for laundry because we have coin machines. And then the, the rest of the coins will go into the coin jar. So, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to stuff our cash dividers inside of our wallet. The first the first divider that we have is the dining out. Is the dining out divider and the dining out is going to get $25. 
So I'm gonna get a 20 and a five. Sorry, I'm trying to look through the eye of the camera lens and it's kind of hard for me to just be, um, what is that word? There's a word for when you're, um, like calibrated, I guess. Um, it's hard for me to be, just calibrate everything. Um, yeah. So the next one is giving. Giving is gonna can is gonna get ten dollars in the form of fives, two fives. Um, and these are just um something I can give. I plan um or I plan ahead in case there is ever anyone that I see that could use some you know, that could use some support, that would like some support, that asks for some financial support, I can pull that out without feeling like it's affecting the rest of my budget, right? The next is groceries. Groceries is going to get 190 Usually I give myself 140 but our church is going to have a small Thanksgiving dinner, so I'm going to, I'm going to budget about $40 for um what they've asked me to take for the for the in ingredients so 150 for my regular groceries plus 40 for the thanksgiving dinner my total is 190 okay so i'm gonna do i don't remember if it is 150 like this 150 or if it was 120, 40, 50. I know a lot of people write them out. Usually I remember. But I'm thinking it's 140, 50. If not, I'll come back in and swap it. So 150 for regular groceries plus 40 for the Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I don't think I will... Uh, mix the two the two amounts in here. I know I just put them together and people like to separate everything, but I think it'll be okay. My next one is miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is gonna get fifteen dollars this pay period. Sorry, I'm putting it backwards already. So it's ten fifteen, and then it's gonna go face down with my dividers. My tithing I received about thirteen fifty and some change. So ten percent of that is one hundred thirty six. 120, 30, 5, 6, 120, 30, 35, 6. And in addition, I also separate about $30 in fives for the other days that I don't give my tithe so I can have some offering. So, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, usually I have something left over in my givings, um, in my givings divider, and whatever I do have left over, I put it in the givings, uh, cash envelope, my sinking fund, and I didn't have any left over this, this pay period, and that's okay, but usually I try to do that. Uh, the last one is transfer, transferring over to my savings account. I have to manually do that. That's $100. So I'm going to put that. And then these are all ready to go in the back into my wallet. In the back here. So my dividers go up here. These are like, this is money that has like intention, right? That I'm not really reaching for. I also give myself spending money. And today I'm going to give myself $25. So 25 And I usually put that in the front pocket. Oh, this is a receipt. I mean, um, what is it called? The store credit. Um... And I put that in the front pocket, so this is my spending money. I could, you know, spend it as I want. And then this is all money with intention that I either give um, or have to transfer in some way. And yeah, that is my wallet. I keep wanting to look around the camera, but it's best to look through the camera. But I just, I miss 
my eyes miss and my hands miss what I should be doing. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is doing my expenses that are in cash. A lot, Most of my bills and my other expenses, my other living expenses are online. So I don't bother taking out that money. I just pay from my bank account directly. But these are my cash expenses where I give a cash portion. So for the internet, I give a total of 40 a month. So for this first paycheck of the month, I'm going to put 20 Oh gosh. I wonder if I could. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> okay. I don't. Oh, that's the thing down. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put $20 here. And that's the first. Next page, I'll put another 20 completing the 40 Rent is four fifty total, so I am gonna be counting two hundred twenty-five. Okay, so I got two hundred from two hundred twenty-five, two hundred twenty-five from my rent. I'm gonna that in there i used to do doordash and i had a taxes and i used to also have my tanda but i don't i'm not doing the tanda right now and i don't do doordash so i put those in the bank um yeah so it's just those two things that i do uh that are the expenses okay let me just organize this real quick the final thing that we'll be stuffing are my sinking funds so we start with the first one, which is my car. Let's see, where can I? I'll put it here. I don't have that big of a desk. Does this make sense? This makes sense. Okay. Okay. So the first thinking fund that I'm going to stuff is my car. I do, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do have a, <laughs> a placement holder for $500, which I deposited into my savings. Um, and I'm going to be stuffing 25. So that's 25. So I have 520, 40, 45, 50, 550, and this is my tracker. The next one is going to be Christmas. This is exciting. I already spent some of it. Um, but I still have a couple more. I do need to start buying the actual Christmas presents and taking money out of this one. Um, and I will be stuffing $50 in here. So I'm going to grab a 50. So in total for Christmas, I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 475. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one is emergency. Emergency is going to get $30. And I have been using... I did use it, I did use some for some vet bills earlier this year and I did use, and I did take some to the save, to my savings, um, but this is what I have right now. So this is what I have plus the 30. For savings, I have 100, 150, 170, 190, 200. 
hundred. Um, family night is getting fifteen dollars this pay period. It has nothing in there. I have been using it for the family events such as the baby shower and other things. Um, so ten fifteen. I didn't think it would be this hard to look through the camera. Next one is gifts, and gifts is gonna get nothing. Um, I don't really have any other gifts to buy at this moment other than Christmas gifts. Um, so, oh, that's a lie. I do have one birthday gift that I'm planning on buying, but since I'm just gonna buy it online, I just left that money online, so there's nothing going in here. Giving, I didn't have any leftover from my wallet, so this isn't gonna get stuffed health is gonna get stuffed i'm gonna put in ten dollars in here so ten dollars 100 200 i i wish 100 110 20 30 Wait, it's this one. 130. Okay. Next one is home. Home does not have anything either, but today I'm going to put $10 in. Next one is kids. Not my kids, but my nephews and my nieces. Um, I just use this for the baby shower gift. Um, so it does not have anything, but I will be adding $10. I'm noticing now that I do not have the $10. It is most likely because of my wallet, the grocery wallet. So I'm going to go back in there and take it out. So for groceries, oh my gosh, this lens. One, 20, 40, 50 gonna take this 50 150 for groceries plus the 40 for Thanksgiving I'm just gonna separate these back here so 10 for kids Since everyone's going to be getting Christmas presents, I don't have to worry about stuffing this. None of their birthdays are necessarily coming up soon, so hopefully I get to bulk this up and start. Maybe do something, plan something for my nieces and nephews. Me, I am going to stuff $50. This is the last 50 up here. Nope, that's a lie. There's another 50 Oh, okay, that's what. I was gonna I was gonna originally stuff fifty dollars and then I had the fifty dollars left over um that I had budgeted that I just have left over, so now I have a hundred, so I'm gonna put them in my me. And the and it's because I have something specific planned that I wasn't going to do for a while, but because I have been blessed with the extra fifty, it completed the money for what I can do. Um, and yeah, I get to do that. So that's exciting. Okay, next one is Meow, my cat whom I love. And he's going to get $25 today. So 25 Okay, 20 5 so in total, he has 120, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. He has $180. Okay, wake up. And 
Next is parents. Parents is going to get $20. My dad's birthday is coming up in January. Well, it's not coming up yet. That's just something to think about. Comes up mid-January. Sometimes the high of Christmas can leak into the new year and it's hard for me to prepare so I don't want to think about getting him something at the last minute. Tech is going to get $8 so that's 5 6 7 8 And I already had 5 in here. 5 10 11 12 13. So there's 13 here total. Um tech I only stuff occasionally when my paycheck is just has a couple dollars more so than a usual and um yeah i don't i'm very grateful that right now i don't have any tech needs so it's not something i need to prioritize at this moment but it's something i do want to have some something saved up for in case something ever comes up Right? Like, I have a great phone now. But in the future, in years from now, I may want to buy a new phone. It would be great if I had something of a cushion in that case. Okay. And last but not least, I have travel. And travel is getting my last $25. I'm really excited because I am going to take a trip this weekend. I'm going to go on vacation tomorrow. And a lot of it is already separated, so these are things I'm gonna pay in cash once I'm already there. So I don't count it because it's already kind of considered an expense. Um, but this is money that I have. I'm gonna take so it could be forced just to just to have in case anything comes up, any emergencies come up. If I wanna have like a fancier dinner. Um, I'm gonna have on this my goal is to come back with some sort of with um like something left over um so that i can have a starting budget for my next trip right i don't want to spend it just because it's in my travel envelope doesn't mean that i need to spend it off for this travel right if i can come back and like save these hundreds and just spend this part of it that'd be great um, but if not, I'm not gonna, you know, be upset if I do end up having, if I do end up spending more than I am predicting. Um, I trust myself and I know that I will spend things if I know that the experience or the product is gonna be worth it. So, I added the 25 in total for travel. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 400. 420, 440, 445, 450, 451, 52, 53. I have $453 in my travel. And because I didn't have anything in my wallet um, left over, there are no ones or fives. And nothing miscellaneous, just holding my homemade, um, what are these called? Like that play money. I can't remember what the term is, but yeah. that's it for today thank you so much for budgeting with me there are a couple of things coming up that i'm really excited for um new content that i really think will be fun for the new year and yes i'm very excited so i hope that you stick around and if you like what i the budgeting that i'm doing you have any suggestions at all i am always 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 willing to learn how to make things a little bit easier more convenient more efficient um please comment um if you enjoyed the video consider liking the video consider subscribing so you can see the next one um and i'll see you in about two weeks for my next paycheck breakdown so aloha or, aloha <laughs>